Hey, hi friends, welcome to today's video. So today we are going to discuss about companion object in Kotlin. And we'll also see the differences between companion keyword and the object keyword. So if you see the definition in Kotlin, a companion object is a special object that is associated with a class. It is similar to a static field in other languages, but it is more powerful and flexible. Like in Java, we have a static keyword. Okay. A companion object is defined inside a class using the companion keyword and it has the same visibility as the class itself. This means that it can be accessed from anywhere within the same package as the class without the need to create an instance of the class. That means to access this, you don't need to create the object of the class. It is just like the singleton. It will behave like a singleton object. Now let's see the sample here. So here what I have done, I have defined a class companion sample and here we have a function called get data, which is a normal method. And what it does, it just return you some data. So if you run it right now, so what I'm doing, I'm creating the object of companion sample. I'm creating this instance and I'm calling this println sample dot get data and see it is printing this get data. Now what if, if I don't want to create uh, the instance of this companion sample and I want to access directly. So here in Kotlin, you don't have the static keyword. Like I cannot write something like this because there's no keyword static. So what can we do? So we can wrap this inside a companion object. So see here we have this companion object. So we can do something like this and wrap it inside this particular block. Now, if you see, this is started giving you error because this companion object can be accessed from the class itself. You don't need to, to create an instance of that class. So here, now what I have to do, instead of the sample, I will directly access through this companion sample. Okay. And see, if I run it, I will have the same output. Okay, so in many cases, let's say that if you want to def hard code some particular string for a class, so instead of taking it as a normal object, you can define a component object and put all the things here. Like for example, your tags, your, your some hard coded strings. Those are some of the things that you can put here. Now, companion object can also have a name. Let's say that if I call it as companion object. Okay. Now, if you see, even if I'm giving the name, it is not throwing you any error. Of course, I can write it like this. See, but without even writing it, it's working and see it is getting grayed out telling that this is not important. It's redundant. Okay. Now, why it is redundant? Because the companion object is directly associated with the class. So we can access it without having any reference of the companion object. So that's the reason that you don't require this keyword here. Okay. Now there's another thing which is called object. Now, how can we define this? Let's say that if I have to define object and let me call it as companion object two, or let's me just call it as object two. Okay. And inside this also, I can have some function. Let's say that, let me just copy and paste. I'll call it as get data two and uh, it will return some data two. Okay. Now, how can I access this? It's very simple. So again, we don't need to create a instance of it. Now, if you see the definition of the object, by declaring an object in Kotlin, we define a singleton that is a class with only one instance. And you don't need to create a, that instance for this. Such an instance is created lazily. That is when it is created the first time when it is used in a thread self manner. So many things are being handled directly by the Kotlin when you write this keyword. Okay. Now let's try to access this get data too. So what I will do, let me copy this and I'll call it here get data too. Now see when I write this get data too, it's giving error because the functions or the variable inside this objects are associated with this object, not with your class. So if you want to access this get data to here, we need to access it through this object too. So here, dot object to then dot get data to. Okay, so that's one of the major difference between the company object and the object. So all the uh, company object are directly associated with the class, but this variable or the function is inside the object are associated with the object, not with the class. Okay, other difference is that here, let's say that if I want to create another object inside this and call it as object three, let's say this as three and this also three. 
so see the compiler is not giving any error like a class can have multiple object but if you copy this company in object and if you create another company in object let's say that call it as 2 then the compiler is giving you error that means that inside a class we can have only one company in object you can see that only one company in object is allowed per class so this is another difference now there's one more difference that the company in object can be always be inside a class as what we were reading here that uh, a company in object is defined inside a class but this object can exist without having a class let's say that I can put it directly here and then I can access it also without having any class so let's say for example I can write here object 3 dot get data 3 okay so this is just like a typical singleton design pattern if you have to use you can use this object so there is one more thing that what if if you want to access this from Java because most of the time you might have still the code having both Java and the Kotlin together so in that case you can use a keyword called at the rate JVM static so let's say that if I want to access this I can use this keyword telling that I want to access this from a Java class okay so that's all for today's video hope you have enjoyed this and if you're new to the channel then please do subscribe the channel I keep posting important topics on iOS and Android so thanks for watching thank you